From Willis White Field here at Salem Stadium in Salem, Virginia, I'm Pat Coleman with my D3 report for Stag Bowl 40, which was won by the University of Mountain Union over the University of St. Thomas by the score of 28 to 10. It was a game in which uh, the Mountain Union defense held St. Thomas to just 194 yards of total offense, more than 100 of them in the second quarter in which St. Thomas cut uh, Mountain Union's lead from 14-0 to 14-7. They had a 60-yard drive, which was punctuated by a Dan Ferrazzo 10-yard touchdown run, which he took the snap on a fake field goal, ran for the corner of the end zone, dove for the pylon to cut the uh, lead by a touchdown. St. Thomas had jumped out to a 14-0 lead in the first quarter, including with a uh, seven-play 82-yard drive that took off just the first uh, two minutes and 10 seconds of the game, and Mountain Union took an early 7-0 lead on a Jake Simon one-yard touchdown run up the middle. And then uh, Charles Diesel blocked a punt later in the first quarter and returned it 13 yards into the end zone for a touchdown. Mountain Union was up 14-0 and it was looking like we might have a stag bowl blowout. But the St. Thomas defense rallied and they held, uh, they held Mountain Union without a score on offense or on defense uh, until 104 of the third quarter. At that point it was a 14-10 game. Uh, St. Thomas had recovered a uh, fumbled punt at uh, inside uh, Mountain Union territory. They took it just six yards, but Paul Groppner connected on a 38-yard field goal to cut that lead to 14-10. But uh, the score came with 104 left. Chris Denton on a 17-yard fade route from Kevin Burke on a, to end an 81-yard drive, a 12-play drive. It took 5-17 off the clock. That made it 21-10. And then Mountain Union put the nail in the coffin with 428 to go in the ballgame. A 87-yard drive in which Mountain Union was just relentless. Took up 8 minutes and 38 seconds of the fourth quarter. Left St. Thomas down by 18 with another Simon touchdown run. Down by 18, 28-10 with no opportunity to answer. And uh, St. Thomas falls in the national championship game. Mountain Union wins its 11th national title. The uh, Mountain Union Purple Raider offense put up 344 yards. It was uh, Kevin Burke, the most outstanding player. He was 21-28, passing for 222 yards and a touchdown. He also ran for 28. Jake Simon, who was you know, basically the fullback, of the number three option most of the season at running back, was the, uh, it was the big ground gainer because he was able to hold on to the football, which uh, T.J. Lattimore had struggled to do in previous weeks. Simon, 21 carries for 87 yards. He had the book-ending touchdowns both at the beginning and the end of the game. Uh, Matt O'Connell. Struggled at uh, quarterback, 15 to 35 for the Tommies for 116 yards. He was sacked five times. Uh, Brenton Braddock, who injured himself last week against Wisconsin Oshkosh in the national semifinals, tried to make a go of it here tonight, but was unable to do so. He carried twice for seven yards. He was used a little bit as a decoy and as a uh, and ran a uh, helped to run a, a double reverse in the second quarter and then did not appear after halftime. So he had just two carries for seven yards in the Tommies running game without him. Typical, as you might expect, against Mountain Union, 36 carries for 78 yards. And as I mentioned, 194 yards of total offense on 71 plays from scrimmage. Uh, Nick Driscoll led the way defensively. He had 11, uh, 11 stops, six of them solo. Hank Spencer, the freshman linebacker for the Purple Raiders with a pair of tackles for loss. Alex Kocheff with two tackles for loss. On the other side, uh, Riley Dombeck was really dominant up front for St. Thomas. He had two and a half tackles for loss and a sack among his nine total tackles. And as St. Thomas defensively really had the game in control, uh, in their control, for most of the second and third quarters, but the offense was just unable to put anything together against the uh, dominant Mountain Union Purple Raider defense. So I'm Pat Coleman. That's my D3 report, and I hope to see it on D3Football.com, and I hope to see yours on D3Football.com in 2013.